guys, welcome back. So what I'm doing here is just putting on my CeraVe moisturizer, making sure that it's all over my face and my neck. Next what I'm going to do is take my Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and put that all over my face. Um, it takes me a minute here because I actually am using my bottle that is almost empty so I wanted to get every last bit out of it because that stuff is just a little pricey. Um, so once I get it all over I am going to go ahead and just rub that in with my fingers. No need for a brush. I mean you will need brushes eventually once you start you know doing your makeup more often but for now when you're starting out using your fingers that is perfectly fine. Quickly I just wanted to address my excessive use of the word um in my last video. I know I used it a million times but guys I have an 8 month old child and he tends to drive me crazy and your thought process would be just the same if your situation was mine. <laughs> going to be taking a beauty blender which I actually forgot to mention in the last video however I will link the info um, in the description box on where to purchase one of these it is so good for blending out your concealer your foundation um, it gets into every little crease um, so basically what I'm doing is patting all over my face and working the the foundation up into my hairline Now I'll be taking the Makeup Forever HD Full Coverage Concealer and I will begin concealing my under eye down kind of on the cheekbone as well and I'm pulling it all the way up to the hairline. I like to take whatever's left on my finger and use it on the top of my eyelid just to cover any kind of discoloration up there. And of course you're going to take the beauty blender again and blend, blend, blend. You can obviously see which side is concealed and which side is not. Um, now we are going to go on to the other eye, do the same thing, blend, 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 and then we will be setting our concealer and our face. wanted to mention the lighting. Um, I know it keeps going in and out. Uh, the natural daylight was kind of messing with me today. So bear with me. I know it's, you know, looking light and then dark, but you know, I feel like you guys get the picture. doing is taking my sponge and dipping it in a little bit of banana powder to set underneath the eyes and above the eyes. This powder is amazing. Once the setting is all done for the eyes, I will take the Studio Fix um, powder by MAC in the color NC42 and basically apply that all over my face except for under the eye. We want to keep the under eye highlight, you know, semi-bright. I didn't use um, a really, really bright concealer today. I used um, number seven, but I will put that information in the link below. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna dab this all over, avoiding the under under eye area just to set the foundation and give myself a little bit of color. Also, if you're wondering why I'm putting powder on my neck, you always, always, always want to blend your foundation down so your face matches your neck. So always remember to blend down to your neck. Now what we're going
going to do is take our blush in Rosy Outlook by MAC is what I'm using. And we are going to just liven up those cheeks. Um, you want to start on the apples of your cheeks and kind of just give yourself that natural glow. If you notice, my face looks a little more alive with just a little bit of color. Moving on to the eyebrows, I went rather quickly through this only because this is not my everyday eyebrow routine. I wanted to keep it simple. Um, I will be filming a tutorial on just eyebrows. So I wanted to just quickly tell you that all I'm doing is taking a little bit of the Benefit shadow and swiping it along my hairs and just enhancing what's not there. Um, obviously you can see that you know my eyebrows are very thin and they don't have much of a shape until I fill them in. So um, you know I did mention the benefit in the last video and the great thing about it is that it comes with its own little tweezers and two little mini brushes and that's the brush that I am using. So if you want to fill in your eyebrows and get the tools all together in a set, Benefit is definitely the way to go. And I'm using the color dark. Now what I'll be doing is applying mascara to my bottom lashes and um, what I had previously shown yesterday was the Clinique but I am using Telescopic by L'Oreal and I just made a boo-boo so I am cleaning that up. knows me they know that I really really love mascara so I am putting on about three to four coats of mascara on my bottom lashes and I am going to do the same on top as well after I curl them I just want to emphasize that you know today's look will not be as dramatic as the previous video because I did have fake eyelashes on I did have my face contoured and highlighted so today you will be getting a very makeup no makeup look um, very natural very subtle very easy least I will be putting on some lip gloss by NYX. I did forget to mention this in the last video. Um, always make sure you have some kind of lip gloss handy or a tinted lip balm. I will put the information in the description below of which color I'm using. So here is the completed look. It is very natural, very subtle, very easy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll see you guys next time.